I'm Molly Pesci, and this is Barnes & Noble Tagged. You love her on the hit show Project Runway and for telling us what are the 100 must-have stylish pieces. And she is the must-have for anyone who wants to be in the know about fashion. She is Nina Garcia, and her story is très chic. <laughs> Nina Garcia practically grew up at the feet of fashion, spending hours literally on the floor of her mother's closet watching and learning how the glamorous dress for high society. Now, Nina Garcia has her own signature eye for style. She is best known for her appearance as the unerring, formidable fashion judge on the hit show Project Runway. She has worked in fashion houses and in fashion media with everyone from Marc Jacobs to Elle Magazine and Marie Claire. Nina's first book, The Little Black Book of Style, helped readers explore their own fashion voice and avoid the most common fashion faux pas. Her second book, The 100, a guide to the pieces every stylish woman must own, answered the question, exactly what are fashion's timeless pieces? And Nina Garcia is here today with her latest fashionable accessory, her new book, The Style Strategy. Nina Garcia, you've been tagged, and I am so thrilled you're here. I'm a huge fan of Project Runway, and we have been selecting clothes for days, everyone here, just in anticipation of your arrival. I love being tagged. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask you, you are the go-to person to achieve timeless style. I, I love your books. I, I'm so proud every time I get to one of the things and I have something you've recommended. But now, you're a mom with a toddler, is it possible to achieve timeless style and have a toddler? Yes, it is. It's all about, you know, you just have to be a little more strategic, mm -hmm. have, think more about time, but you could still be fashionable. Mm -hmm. And something I learned early on, because I was a big proponent, the white shirt, the white shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about the white shirt. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> It's all about prints. <laughs> it's all about prints. That's the, you know, it's yes. the trick I've learned. It can, it, it makes those stains, you know, bearable for a few hours more than a solid. And not even a black shirt works because yeah. it's like projectile vomit. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Forget the solids. Go for print. So tell us about the new book, The Style Strategy. The Style Strategy is a book about how to shop smart, how to stay chic, and how to make it last. In the book, you have a lot of examples of women from past eras who had to sacrifice but live like they weren't sacrificing. And it is so timely for right now because we're all kind of going through the same thing. Yes. I think there's really been a breakthrough in how, you know, self-awareness, a sense of community, a sense of responsibility, and shopping has really you know, change. The way we've shopped has changed and will continue to do so. Mm -hmm. So this is a, 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 um, a book to really make you think about having a plan, having a strategy. It's not, it's not at all about this impulse buying anymore. It's about mm -hmm. having a, a strategy. It, the DNA really of the book is assessing what you have, then knowing what you need, and then finally, going for what you want. So you're not going to the store and just kind of impulse buying. You are sitting down and saying, these are the things that are going to make my wardrobe complete that will last a long time. That's the core of the strategy. Oh, give us a, a, just an example or two of something right now that you see we can do that's creative, it's cost effective. There are many tips in the book on how to really strategize and how to shop wisely, how to shop for bargains. But I think one of the easiest and I guess one of my favorites is if you are going to go shopping, you can buy one thing, but only if that one thing goes with at least three items in your wardrobe. So you always have to create options for yourself. Mm -hmm. Be a shopper that has to create some options. You will buy one thing, but you will be able to have three different outfits that coordinate with things in your closet. As you know, I'm a huge fan of Project Runway, and I just have to ask, is it as tense in the room as it feels on television? Yes, it's worse. <laughs> it's worse. It takes so many minutes, and you're like, they're like, you know, and, and you're watching 
the contestants expressions and it's for TV so it makes it they, they take even longer oh. and the sad moments are even worse because you're standing there and you're like oh my god I just had to let you go and now I have to sit here and watch it <laughs> unfold oh. for like 15 minutes oh. <laughs> it's 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 tough sometimes. Well, Project Runway premieres this week. I can't wait. It's <sighs> very fun. exciting. It will be. The Style Strategy is out very soon. It's a great book. Thank you. Thank you Get so much. Get the strategy. <laughs> yes, have the strategy, save money, and yes. look fashionable. Thank you, Nina Garcia. Thank you. Mm. Here's a tagged close-up, and I mean close-up. Now you can get books downloaded right into your iPhone, iPod Touch, or BlackBerry, Mac, or PC. Amazing. Here's how it works. I am talking about the launch of the Barnes & Noble eBook Store, the world's largest eBook store. And you can download the software for free by going to bn.com slash eBooks. Now, you are all ready to buy ebooks and read them on a wide range of platforms, including the iPhone and iPod Touch, BlackBerry smartphones, as well as most Windows and Mac laptops or full size desktop computers. Barnes and Noble's ebook store is offering its customers seamless access to more than 700,000 titles, including hundreds of new releases and bestsellers at only $9.99, many titles for even less, making it the world's largest selection of ebooks available in one place. To get started, users will have the opportunity to download free ebooks, including Merriam Webster's Pocket Dictionary and classics like Sense and Sensibility, Little Women, The Last of the Mohicans, Dracula, and more. And there are more than a half a million public domain books from Google, which can be downloaded for free. In addition, users will have the added convenience afforded by true ebook portability, allowing them to access their ebooks from any of their ebook software equipped devices. For example, they can shift from reading their ebooks on a smartphone while commuting to a notebook PC or portable device at bedtime. Ebooks are simple, accessible, affordable, and convenient for everyone. I know, I am an avid ebook reader. And that's our tagged close up. Every week, we tune into the buzz around the latest in books, music, and movies. My top tags this week are fat, fit, gossipy, inglorious, and inspiring. <laughs> Filling out my number five tag is Born Round, The Secret History of a Full-Time Eater by New York Times restaurant critic Frank Bruni. Born Round traces the unusual path Bruni traveled to become a restaurant critic, as well as the brutally honest story of his lifelong and often painful struggle with food. Looking fit and trim as my number four tag is the Flat Belly Diet Cookbook. We first tagged Liz Vaccarello when she brought us the Flat Belly Diet book. Now, she and nutritionist Cynthia Sass bring us the companion cookbook with over 200 new recipes, a four-day jumpstart plan, and a flexible mix and match meal plan. Being bold as my number three tag is The Inglorious Bastards movie soundtrack. It's from Quentin Tarantino's latest controversial film starring Brad Pitt. If you enjoyed the hard to find recordings from his previous films like Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill, this one will rock your world. Chatting it up at number two is Gossip Girl, the complete second season on DVD. The world of jealousy and betrayal at an exclusive private school in Manhattan continues in this seven disc collection. Extras include unaired scenes, a gag reel, and a downloadable audiobook of Gossip Girl, read by Christina Ricci. It's back to school for my number one tag, Teaching Hope, stories from the Freedom Writer teachers. Now depicted in a best-selling book and movie, the Freedom Writers phenomenon came about in 1994, inspired by the original teacher, Erin Gruel. Featuring a foreword from Anna Quinlan, Teaching Hope unites the voices of these Freedom Writer teachers who share the poignant stories from their classrooms. And those are my top tags for this week. Let's see if a few fashion accessories can really work magic. Uh, Bangle bracelet, chunky ring, oh, oh, and the uh, fabulous ponytail. I do feel transformed. 
I'm loving this. And I would love to have you back on Barnes & Noble Tag.